Hey guys, it's me, David. It's uh, 3 9 2021, Tuesday night. <coughs> Excuse me. I just went through a sneezing fit. No, I'm still sneezing. I apologize for that. Um, I might see some more. Um, I don't know if it's them or not. It's, it's hard to tell. So anyway, I thought I'd do a little video tonight. Um, not a whole lot going, not a whole lot going on with my targeting, but um, I do have some things I want to talk about. But first, I'll tell you that uh, um, I'm telling you, I'm finding some good vehicles. I have no cash right now. I won't have any money until the stimulus check. Um, I got a little bit in my, in my savings account uh, set aside for a vehicle. But there's some some good vehicles, but they're selling like hotcakes, hotcakes. You know, um, they're down in the down in the cities. There's a um, the, uh, you know I thought if worst comes to worst, I'll I'll get that police car, that old police car, 2009 it is, Crown Vic. Um, go get that, you know, for two grand. Honestly, I could probably get ten ten years out of that car. But I checked tonight, it's sold. But they do have another one in. Um, it's a uh, a Ford Explorer uh, for two grand. It's a uh, it's a little older. It's two thousand five, I think it is. Fairly low miles on it, you know, and stuff. And um, you know, it doesn't look back. No, no rust on it or anything. It's black. Nice, uh, nice vehicle. But it'll probably be sold by the time I get down there and get some money, you know. Um, so it'll probably be gone. But so that's what I've been doing, looking for vehicles and all that stuff. Um, uh, the one thing I do want to talk about is how dumb. Uh, I'm not saying I'm smart, you know. I'm average, whatever, <laughs> you know. I'm just an average guy, you know. Blue collar worker. I worked in the healthcare field and all that for a while, for 20 years, you know. Yeah, but uh, uh, you know, I like to mess around with snowmobiles and four wheelers and. Uh, trucks and you know all that. I'm kind of a blue collar guy type guy. You know I'm not uh, Mr. Einstein or anything. But I, you know, I think our, our our attackers. I think they really are stupid. I really do. Um, I think they are so arrogant and so cocky and so confident that um, they don't know how stupid they are. I really, I really believe. I truly believe that. Um, I don't think they know everyone that's involved, all these agencies, DOD. I mean, this goes way up to um, uh, big people in the government that make a lot of money. You know, doctors and stuff, uh, re uh, researchers and all this stuff. Um, I think these guys are really stupid for acting the way they do because they think they're not going to be next, you know. Uh, they think they're not going to be next. They think they're untouchable. They think they're above the law. And some of them may be above the law, but... Um, like in my program, there's agencies involved in my program. Um, you know, I, I think... Well, you know, I think they protect me to a certain point. Um, otherwise, I, I wouldn't be here right now. I, I, the way I, I, That's what I think. I think these guys would take me out in a heartbeat. You know, um, if they could, you know, but I think there's people that don't let them do that. Um, but they are stupid, you know, um, you know, um, to think they're never going to be next. Um, I think, I think they will be next. I think maybe they are next, you know, maybe they're doing research on their brains and they don't even know it, you know, uh, maybe they are, um, looking through their eyes and they don't even know it. I think they're being watched by somebody. I think these guys are being watched by somebody. Because, like like I say, whenever they put me in danger, or try to put me in danger, there's a, there's a police officer around. Um, and it's not these guys calling the cops. Because they could care less whether I'm here or not, you know? So, I think they're stupid. I really do. I think they're so stupid that they don't even know who they're messing with. You know, they don't even know, you know, I think they're so stupid that they don't even re realize what's going on. They're not told anything. They don't, you know, they just think we're just lab rats. We're lab rats and we're beneath them and all this stuff when it actually it's the other way around. We're above them. You know, like I say, you know, um, you know, I mean, people, I don't know. You know, people want to act like we're nothing, you know, 
uh, like we're nothing and all this stuff. I think we're something. You know, I, I think we have some value to the government. I think, um, you know, they, they could have uh, taken us out a long time ago if they wanted to. Uh, they could do anything they want, the, the government, you know. Um, we're around for a reason, you know. I think we're important. I think we're important um, in this research that they're doing, um, you know. Um, you know, some people act like they want us to hurt ourselves and all this stuff and not be here anymore and stuff. But I, I, I you know, I, I think that's not the goal. I don't think that's the goal. Um, those people that, that sit there and take all this pain in there, if they're ready to hurt themselves, they need to go get help. I mean, who cares if they diagnose you? you can go get help, you know, and, 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 and you know, play the game. You know, it's it's better than not being here anymore. But like, I, I think these guys are stupid. I think they, I think they're so cocky and everything. I think they're stupid. I think they're really stupid. They don't even know. They could be next tomorrow. They could be next tomorrow. They could be next right now. You know, they're use probably using them for research too. You know, I think they're uploading. Uh, I think they use a bunch of perverts personally, and I think they upload. Uh, I think they upload their their thoughts and their and their brainwaves to a supercomputer. That's what I think. You know, but you know, it's possible they could be doing that, uh, using these guys to hydrodyne and and um, you know, do all kinds of things. Um, I don't know. You know, but you know, it's you know, I have some low level people in my program. Are are they doing the torture? I don't know. I don't know, you know, that's what I'm trying to figure out, you know, um, you know, I know there's people that know about the brain and all that stuff, um, are they doing the hands-on torture? I don't think so. Um, you know, Bride 2 is right, um, they do have, uh, local doctors involved, local psychiatrists involved, um, they do, I know that for a fact because, um, uh, like I say, they, um, I was, uh, driving somewhere, and I was getting close to home, and I, I seen a uh, uh, local psychiatrist at the, at the clinic. Uh, he, was, he was walking his bicycle by my house. That was for reactions. They knew I knew who he was, you know. So are they involved? Yes, of course they are involved. Local people are involved. You know, psychiatrists, doctors, um, you know, your family doctor is probably involved, um, um, you know nurse practitioners and all that stuff they are involved in this they know somewhat they know a little bit what's going on um you know but i i also think they hire torture happy freaks that enjoy hurting you i really do i think these guys don't care about anything but but they get off they're getting their jollies on hurting you that's what i think you know um but then i think some people are around sometimes they know about the brain and all that stuff behaviors and uh, you know, other things, so, it's unreal, I just want to talk about that, I think these guys are stupid as hell, I really do, um, I think they're, I think they're in a trap, I think they're in a psyop, I think they're being lied to, you know, I think they have this illusion that the government cares about them, you know, these low-level people that are on drugs, and, like to hurt people and stuff. Oh yeah, the government likes me. If you think that, you are an idiot. You know, uh, they're just using these people, using and abusing them, um, and that's what they're good for. Useful idiots, you know. So I just want to say that. Um, other than that, not much going on. I they kind of been laying off me. Uh, when they do that, I expect to get hit sometime. You know, they sneak in a little bit, and then they go in for the kill. You know, uh, within a two or three day period. Um, but I, it hasn't been that bad today. I've been laying around, you know, sitting around, uh, watching TV, going, you know, on the computer looking for cars and stuff. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get out tomorrow a little bit because my relative's off. So I'm hoping to use her car. Maybe um, go and, um, you know, take Tanner to the park or something, you know, but. It's been pretty boring, you guys. Um, I can't, I can't wait to get a vehicle. 
Um, it's going to be a test. We're going to see if these guys try to stop me from getting a vehicle. It's going to be um, a cat and mouse game, you know. Um, if I go down in the cities with cash and I'm ready to buy, we're going to see if they'll let it happen. If they try to stop it, you know, we'll see what happens there. You know, like I say, I can't be trapped in here with no vehicle. I'd be trapped here. It'd be like prison. You know, I can't, I can't do that. That's just not going to work. Not going to work for me. You know, uh, my battery's dying. All right, guys. Um, so I just thought I would say a quick hello and all that stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, uh, you know, staying safe out there and doing well. Um, I suppose I'm going to cut this off. My battery's dying. So you guys have a good night, and I hope you guys have a good week, and I'll talk to you soon.